now return to the movie board. Wow, who saw that coming? We told you this was a good movie. Those lights, those shadows, the blood, the guts. It's enough to make a girl scream. <laughs> Speaking of making some noise, get ready to cheer your heads off for our next guest. She's the star of the supernatural thriller Ghost that's taking the country by storm. Put your hands or parental appendages of your choice together <laughs> for a happy butler sandwich. <laughs> have you here. Uh, as I said earlier, Ghost has been taking the country by storm. So what about Ghost? What attracted you to your role in Ghost? The story of a strong, passionate young woman, the, the character Maya. And also I was intrigued a bit by the story, but at the time when I auditioned I didn't know the whole story. Now are you a fan of horror films? I'm not a real, real big horror fan. In fact, that kind of intimidated me from getting involved in the project because I, I just I hadn't worked in the genre. I hadn't seen a lot of um, hardcore horror. I'm more of a sci-fi or supernatural, um, psychological thriller type of person. That's the kind of movies I usually watch, if I'm going to watch. Okay, well, was this your first lead role then? Yes, I'd say it was my first lead role. In fact, it was, it, it had been a long time since I'd been in any films because I had been working and raising little boys. So, yeah. And did you, was, was there a lot of pressure to, to kind of prove yourself it being your first lead role in a feature film? I didn't feel any pressure to prove myself. Once I uh, committed to the role, it was very exciting to be involved with it and, to have that, uh, that, that honor. I heard a rumor that the Opera House is in fact haunted, so I was wondering, did you have any supernatural experiences while you were there? There were some um, creepy, I mean, some, some creepy cast members maybe, some uh, creepy um, areas of the Opera House. <laughs> And uh, that combined with just the feel of the, the movie and the script, yeah, certainly we would all get kind of creeped out. I can remember times when the set would be really dark, and it was a, it was a, it's a big space, and we'd have to go change. One, you know, one of the cast members might have to go change in um, the front area, and the rest of the cast and crew was um, towards the stage. And it was kind of creepy to go back there by yourself, so we'd always say, oh, someone come with me. Because they, they also had, uh, for whatever reason, this, I can't remember, the Opera House actually had some um, mannequins and some spooky stuff like that still kind of sitting around, so that, that would spook you out. How was it working with Mutantville Productions? Uh, it was a big party. It was, um, it was uh, you know, it's, it's guerrilla filmmaking, and I, you know, I never saw any gorillas. I just kept looking for those gorillas. <laughs> okay. Um, well, what can we look forward to seeing Kathy Butler Sandboss in next? So I just finished up a faith-based film called Find a Way, and that was uh, shot with Cornelius Productions, and Burgess Jenkins directed it. So I look forward to that coming out. I'm not sure the, the time frame of that. And um, just finished uh, a small role in Nowhere with Daydream Films directed by Ryan Thomas. And the next thing I have is, um, is a pilot in Landrum, South Carolina. Uh, Jeff Price is directing that, and that's called Distraction. Well, that's excellent. Well, how about you tell all of your new fans where maybe they can find you if you have a Facebook, a fan page, or a website? Well, I do. You can find me on Facebook. I have a fan page called Kathy Butler Sandvoss's Corner. Well, thank you again, and this is Mutisha the Movie Goddess, and thank you for joining us and Kathy Butler-Senvoss at the Movie Morning. <laughs>